I'm LG and Olis. Welcome to Bet Fidel for Saturday, April the 16th. And we're looking at our weekly statistics at the horseraceadvantage.com. And we're looking for a track where we have a high probability of coming out ahead. We're looking at our percent in the money, percent win rate, percent place. We will go aqueduct with 48 races, 67% in the money, 31% win, 8% place. Charlestown, 32 races. 56% in the money, 25% win rate, and 28% place. We can simply click on the column header to do a sort on that particular column. Here we go. Parks Racing, Philadelphia Park. 44% in the win rate and 19% place. And National with 75% in the money, 42% win rate, and 30% place. We can also take a quick look at the percent in the money column. Golden Gate Fields, 81% in the money with 22% win rate, 31 place. Los Alamitos, 80% in the money, 15% win rate, 50% place. Uh, let's go back to the percent win rate here. Philadelphia Park, with 32 races with 4, 72% in the money, 44% win rate, and 19% place. Here we have a high probability of coming out ahead. So let's take a quick look at Parks Racing, Philadelphia Park. Let's go to our rankings. And we're looking for Philadelphia Park, Parks Racing. And we're looking for April the 16th. Here we are. And now we're looking for a race where we have a high probability of coming out ahead by looking for a big gap here. In the ranking numbers, so we're looking for a horse or horses that stand out from the rest of the field. And here we go, race number one, 18, 25, 13, 12, 25, 11, 25. There's a nice big gap here between two and a seven horse. Uh, let's take a quick look and see what kind of race this one is. Race number one is a maiden claiming uh, for three year olds and up with a purse of 18,000 and at a mile. Uh, we like to stay away from claimer races. Especially maiden races, so these are very unpredictable. So we're going to skip race number one and go on to race number two. Race number two: sixteen point five, twelve point five, twelve twenty-five. No big gap here, so we're going to skip race number two. Go on to race number three: sixteen twenty-five, fifteen fifteen, fourteen point five. No big gap here, and this is a first-time starter, so we know this is a maiden race. So we're going to skip race number three and go on to race number four. 17, 25, 6, 15, 25, 11, 25. There's a nice big gap here between the three and the eight horse. Let's take a quick look and see what kind of a race this one is. Race number four is a claimer race. First 18,000 for four years old and up and mile and a quarter. Um, let's. Um, Cry from the heart. Um, there's a nice big gap between the three and eight horse, so let's keep race number four in mind and go on to race number five. Now there's a nice uh, big gap here 24 18, gap of six and two between the seven and four horse, 24 to 15.5. There's uh, eight and a half points. There's a real nice big gap here. So let's take a quick look and see what kind of race number five is. It's another maiden claimer. First 24,000 for three olds and up for six furlongs. Uh, Rise and Beans ran a 52 buy rating at the seven furlong distance on November 6th in last year, 2015. All right. Um, let's keep race number five in mind and go on to race number six. Race number six. 21, 25, 17, 25, 13.5. Again, there's a nice big gap to the 6 and the 7 horse. Uh, it's almost uh, 8 points there. Uh, let's take a quick look at race number 6. It's another claimer. With 3 olds and up, 6 for long distance. Nelly Fox ran on March 26, a 61 rated race, 5.5 for long distance. Claimer race. Um, Let's keep race number six in mind, especially since there's quite a few 
horses here that have not uh, raised very much at two and a half rung, I mean two and a half rankings we know it uh, these horses have not raised very much of course it's not very many statistics on them. race number seven 27 75 22 19 that's a nice big gap between the four horse and the eight horse let's take a quick look and see what race number seven is about race number seven is the mom's race mom quarter 51,000 for three-year-olds. Okay, three-year-olds are, you know, still fairly young. But, uh, let's see. Sunday Jones ran on February 27th with an 84 by rating. That's very really nice. Of course, that was a five-frog distance. And this one was stretching out to mile and a quarter. Okay, let's uh, keep race number seven in mind. Let's go on to race number eight. 19.5, 16.75, 16, no big gap here. So we're going to skip race number 8 and go on to race number 9. 19.25, 18, 11.75. There's a nice big gap to 9 and 2 horse here. Let's take a quick look and see what kind of race this one is. Race number 9. It's not a claimer. 18,000 first for 4 year olds and up at 6 for almost distance. Uh, war hitch. When on December with a 79 by rating at eight and a half rounds, so this horse is actually going to go to a shorter race. Race number nine, War Hitch. Let's see where War Hitch is ranked right now. Hmm, that's interesting. He must be an also eligible. Okay, so this horse is not even in here. War Hitch, this Creed Duke. Is in here. Okay, so this must four hitch must be in it also eligible. That's why it's not showing here because it's only 12 horses running in this particular race. Okay, so this uh, week let's go to let's go to race number seven. Race number seven, there's a nice big gap between the four and the eight horse and and the rest of the field. So let's uh, take a quick look here. Race number seven. It's a mile and a quarter and some miles race with a purse of 51,000 for three year olds. Okay, this again, uh, we're going to race number seven, Philadelphia Park. And for those people that have an, a premium membership, I'll be doing in depth analysis at the horseraceadvantage.com. I hope to see you, see you on the inside.